The one I would really recommend to people is Leadership and Self-Deception. It was actually a former employee who um, gave me a copy of this years ago, and it kind of sat on the coffee table for a while. Years later, I read it, and I was like, oh man, I wish I read this when it was first given to me. And there's two things in it. One is that it's really easy to fall into treating other people like objects, like either they have some utility to you or they're an impediment to what you're trying to accomplish. And when you do that, it often undermines the goals that you have set out for yourselves. And the other one is underscoring the importance to all of us as human beings of the ideals we set for ourselves. And this might sound a little bit exaggerated, but what they call it in the book is um, acts of self-betrayal. So in order to justify the ways in which we fail to live up to our own ideals, you have to create some narrative whereby someone else is the villain. And when you have that distinction, it's crazy how much it shows up in everything, in every interaction, in every kind of relationship that people have with each other, but critically in the context of work. You know, because there's a lot of a lot of times where teams can just fall apart on the basis of this coalition building, people walking out of a meeting and going like, can you believe what she said? And the degree to which that undermines the trust and, and respect across the team, it can make it almost impossible for people to accomplish anything. So that's one I really recommend.